Hi. As usual, <clears throat> I don't have much of a clue about what I'm going to say, but it's about light, and that's why the radiant sun mask. I'm in love with light. It brings me to tears frequently, and you know, I'm, I'm even talking about physical light here. We don't really know what that is. We have these 3D skin suits that we wear around, these coats of skins, and they're the uh, decoders of our reality. They present to us what is supposedly out there, and it's really not. It's within. I like the way David Icke uses the computer illustration that uh, the body is the 3D computer that uh, presents to us what's really in mind and makes it appear as if it's out there just like the computer takes the disk and makes it appear on the screen. It can be anything. It doesn't depend on the screen's properties at all, except for the basic fundament of that. Everything depends on what's on the disk and what the computer's processing abilities are. Now that's a part of Harmony Cat that you're seeing there. She's come to visit so there's an ear. This is the one that you hear hissing in the background when Puppy is getting scolded for disturbing her peace. What is light? What is being? What is us, my friends? Are you stepping back? Are you disidentifying with that physicality that you wear? Are you giving yourself little breaks from it? From the endless noise and the nonsense of mind? Oh, mind is quite wonderful. I have nothing against it. It's, it's uh, an excellent tool. But it's, it's no way to run things. And we can look around us just to see the results of that. Somehow we've been corralled into that one aspect of our being. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm singing whoopee that uh, the end of that is it's not coming, it's here. We're in the midst of it. We're watching these things crash down. And we have these lovely tools from various aspects of consciousness, such as the Mayan calendar. There's a lot of nonsense about it in circulation, but uh, I think the disinformers see to that. Uh, anything that holds real truth and real light uh, in order to do their best to keep us from it they will seem to join in and participate and, and be in support of it. But then the net results of their participation are to um, obfuscate and make it look bad. Or the people uh, supporting the uh, highest understandings uh, to get smeared. You know, it's, it's so typical. And as long as and to the extent that we're anchored in mind, identified with it, convinced we are that, then we fall for these things. Uh, but there's less and less of that now. A lot of us are just stepping back and saying, hey, wait a minute, and not being so quick to respond. And I'm really in support of that. The more we can find the inner deeper, higher levels, whatever word you want to put to it, you know, whether it's heart or the inner body or, or any of the, the names or concepts that have been given. These are all just words, uh, but they're all pointing in the same general direction. And we all have access to that. 
not one of us is better than another, uh, has better equipment or anything else, because we're not limited to anything that appears. I don't know what that light show is all about, dear friends. There, you know, the light in this room is quite steady. That's a new one on me. We're not limited to what appears. We're not limited to physicality. We work through it. So you can find your beingness, your beinghood, behind, behind and beyond it. And we'll find uh, we're entering almost as a side effect, an age of miracles. For as we tune into the real light beings that we are, um, the physicality will be less and less of a limit to us. Um, as Jessica Mystic says on, on her YouTube site so often, there are no limits, only beliefs. And this is the benefit and the beauty of observation, of not being a responder, but sitting back and just watching. It's beautiful. And so many fine teachers are out there today. And of course, the disinformers wear that hat as well. And they come on to the scene and they purport to be great teachers of light and link you up and do all kinds of things for you, well, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, as you focus in heart and as you find your inner self and you link up with that, you'll see through every bit of the chimera of the nonsense. It'll come to you perhaps one step at a time, one teacher at a time, one thing at a time will be exposed. As, as being just hogwash, you know, wearing a costume of light, or as being uh, disinformation purporting to be truth. Uh, have no fear. Fear is, if, if there's an enemy out there, and there really isn't, but if there is one, it would have to be fear. Uh, when you're in fear, it's a vibration that disconnects you from higher light. It's simple, it's basic, and it's physics. It's uh, maybe a higher physics than current science knows, but that's okay, that doesn't matter. Um, we're just not limited, my friends. We can look around the earth and see all the chaos and all the limits and all the rest of it. Just know you're not bound to that, you're not tied down to that, you're not limited to that. There's nothing that you see that can limit you. And so it's a time of the shedding of beliefs. Uh, we've been taught lies. And you know, we've done pretty well with them, really. Uh, as we look back, considering the limitations that we've been operating under, I think we have to cut ourselves a lot of slack. And we're waking up in spite of it all. So have no fear, my friends enjoy your awakening. I'm certainly enjoying mine. Good day.